Right now, noon after Ian, search and rescue operations still underway for survivors after the near Category 5 storm slammed into southwest Florida last week. And the death toll is rising as we see even more devastation left behind from the hurricane. Here's the latest information on Ian. At least 85 confirmed dead across several states. 81 of those are in Florida and four additional deaths are being blamed on the storm in North Carolina. And at last check this morning, 621,000 people are still without power in Florida. The Gulf Coast is also expecting a visit from President Biden on Wednesday when he's expected to meet with first responders and storm survivors. We have team coverage for you at noon with several crews in southwest Florida covering the aftermath. Let's go right now to local 10 news reporter Trent Kelly. He is live in Fort Myers. Trent. Yeah. Monster storm first hit this and part four. That cleanup process still has yet to begin. Water here has since received the search for supply seems to be slow. Most people don't at this point. One of the things that is still pretty hard to find is gas, even though. Ian's impact still evident no matter where you go in southwest Florida. In downtown Fort Myers, these large boats tossed around like toys after their marina was inundated with several feet of storm surge. Some suffering major damage, their interiors now visible from the street. I do think it's a miracle, <laughs> but I also think that Thomas Edison must have built these houses very well. Just down the road, cleanup now underway at the historic Edison Ford Winter Estates. Despite sitting right next to the Caloosahatchee River, the more than 100 year old structures are still standing. Thomas Edison actually built the main house and the guest house in 1886. So they've been through many storms. I would say this is probably the worst one. In hard hit Fort Myers Beach, search and rescue operations are continuing today. The one and only riding out with members of Florida Task Force 2 on Sunday comprised mainly of first responders from Miami. Whether we're talking about search and rescue or recovery, that doesn't slow us down. We're going to continue to work as hard as possible to get everybody to make sure that everybody's accounted for. The force of that storm surge so great here on Fort Myers Beach, it not only washed out several structures, but it also washed out part of the road, creating a huge hole that is now collecting water and debris. Back in Fort Myers, drivers desperate to find gas still filling up at this mangled mobile station, the awning coming feet away from touching the ground. There's more gas stations open, but the lines are longer, so that's the reason why I decided to stop here. Yeah, and as we were saying earlier, the search for supplies still remains a problem here throughout the Fort Myers area. Aside from gas, which we just talked about, power also remains a problem out here. While some areas and some neighborhoods have since had their power restored, many parts of this region still remain in the dark. In fact, according to FPNL, we're told about 400,000 customers throughout the state are still without power. Crews still working around the clock to try and get that power restored as soon as possible. For now, that is the latest live from Fort Myers this afternoon. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.